Closely watching our area of disturbed weather in the Western Caribbean. Lots of thunderstorms developing around this thing. We now have what's called an area of investigation and invest. It's called invest 97 L and this gives us the opportunity to have computer models, spaghetti models, and we'll take a look at those in a second. Also, I want to note that tomorrow the hurricane hunters will be going into this system and trying to find a low level center. That'll help the forecast models a lot. Uh, the more data the forecast models get, the better it, they can be. So it's going to be something that's very beneficial. And once we get a low level defined center, forecast models will become even better. You can see the development area right now. Anywhere in this area, the storm could develop into a tropical depression, tropical storm. And based on the environment, especially as it gets into the Gulf Mexico, it is possible that it becomes a stronger tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane. So here's the area right now. Plenty of thunderstorms over the Caribbean. We'll see and watch that develop over the coming days. By the time we get towards around Wednesday, this is around Wednesday here, we have our developing tropical system entering into the Gulf of Mexico. Exactly where it is is uncertain at this very moment. Most models have it very near the tip of Yucatan or the Yucatan Channel. Then there's two steering factors that we're watching very closely that will dictate where this thing goes. An upper level ridge and then a trough associated with a front as well. The exact position of these will determine the exact location of where this thing goes, how much it feels the pull of the trough, how much it feels the push of the ridge. However, based on current model guidance, we have some general idea of where this thing is going to go. Most likely the big bend of Florida. However, I will mention that the panhandle is still in play. You have this blue area here that I've highlighted. This is our forecast. We actually hand drew this to kind of highlight some areas that we were thinking need to keep watch. So we have our area in like a keep watch. You definitely want to keep an eye on the forecast, but right now a lot of the forecast models are leaning toward this portion of the panhandle and towards the Big Bend. Also understand that if something were to happen where a storm comes ashore right here, we would be on the western side, offshore wind, drier conditions, and on the eastern side, the eastern side is always much wetter and much more impactful. Here they are. These are the GFS ensembles, essentially different versions of the GFS forecast model. Gives us an idea. I want to draw your attention to the fact that they're starting in different positions. That's because we don't have a defined center of circulation, so there's quite a spread here. Gets into the Gulf of Mexico around Wednesday. This is Thursday morning where you see some of them approaching shore. And wait a minute, that's not the big bend. That looks a little closer to us. I want to mention that these models will flop around over the next couple of days. This particular run, this is the 18Z suite of GFS ensemble models. It came closer to our area, making landfall in places like the peninsula uh, or excuse me, the panhandle in our viewing area. So that would be something that we'd have to pay a lot of attention to. But again, these will shift around. Just pay attention to the forecast timing real quick. Wednesday Gulf storm approaches the coast on Thursday. Know your hurricane plan. More forecast details are to come over the next few days. You have good time out there to be outside because it's quiet. Temperatures in the 90s. It is a little bit hot for our beginning of fall here. And then as we get to Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be keeping an eye on the forecast potential for the tropics. No need to worry at this time. Just pay attention to the forecast.